In this box right here, I have something that I've wanted to add to my machining tools for a really long time. Greetings fellow DIYer and welcome to my video. This is a Shars broaching kit. This is something that I paid for. So this is not an advertisement for this unit. This is a review of what I think of it. First of all, I like the fact that there is lots of sizes and we have some fairly big sizes. I looked at some other broaching kits in similar price points and the next one down only went up to eighth inch, which is the smallest size that this one does. And it was $120. For $60 more, I got much bigger components and a plethora of sizes, and I got the 3 16 brooch that I needed for my project. This is a fairly common size and did not come in the other kit that I was looking at. When I found this for about 180 bucks from Amazon, I was thrilled because kits like this are usually significantly more expensive than that. It's got pretty good sizes. Obviously, as I use it, I'll end up making some sizes depending on what I'm broaching. But as a starter, seems like it's going to work really well. Before I show you how I end up using this, I'm going to show you the one thing that I'm not real happy about. This is my half inch plug that guides the brooch when cutting a key into a half inch hole. And this is the actual brooch that fits in. The problem is. When we slide the brooch in, you can see that the end is sticking out ever so slightly. That shows that this groove was not cut deep enough. If I grab this one right here, also set up for 3 16 it's flush. In fact, it's just a little bit below if I put my hand on it. So I'm going to have to take a little time and clean up this half inch plug. One really nice feature that this kit has is two of the brooches are designed to work with the wider guides. So this is the eighth inch brooch, but you can see that it's thicker right there so that it fits into the 3 16 guide. The same is true of the quarter inch brooch. It also has that ledge so that it will fit into the 3 8 guide. I checked the depth on all the other guides and it's only the half inch guide that needs to have its pocket cut a little deeper. If I was making one of these from scratch, I would do it on the mill because I would have extra material to hold on to while I was cutting said groove. But because this one's already formed, I'm gonna have to file it. So this one is cut deep enough. And if we take a measurement, it's like we get about three, Eight, one. And now let's measure the half inch guide. About three seven. So it looks like I got to take 11 thousandths off. So as I said, to fix this, I was going to file it. But then it occurred to me, I have a brooch and it's the right size. So why don't we use it to shave off the little bit of material? I've used a little cutting oil on this to help with the process and I'm just going to work it back and forth, keeping it parallel to the cutter and that should allow me to open that up. To maximize the area supported on the bottom, I'm using two press plates and I've actually got the triangle hole and then I've got them offset a little bit so that you can take and put the brooch into the long edge so we're not actually broaching through that metal as well. Actually, I think I'd rather see it, so we're going to come this way.
Now the nice thing is, the closer we get down into that, the less brooch is sticking out and the less chance we have of breaking it. And again, this is going through like butter. I, I expected this to take a lot more effort than what it is taking. Of course, what I'm broaching is cast iron, so it's a fairly machinable material that is easy to remove material on. But I could see this just sliding through even a regular piece of steel. And obviously aluminum, brass, or bronze would be no contest. You know, I've thought about over the years making a broaching tool that fits into my lathe. And I may still at some point if I need a very specific size. But there's a lot of time involved in that. And for the price that I paid for this, I just couldn't see the point in messing with something homemade, especially now that I'm using this and I see just how well it cuts. We are no longer cutting. I'm just pressing the brooch down through. All right, if we look at the bottom side, we are cutting a beautiful keyway. It's not quite deep enough. Now is time to install this little spacer that goes into this unit right here and gets you that extra depth. If I don't lose it first. All right, so that goes in there like that. And then we slide the brooch down in. And we are set to go again. Sadly, I have to adjust my press once again. Apply a fresh round of cutting fluid. Eventually gonna be replacing the jack on this press for air over hydraulic and anytime that I'm pumping this trying to get into position and I've got a long ways to go I'm cussing myself for not having done that already We're close so let's get it all centered up that's pretty good and once again this is just going through like butter I mean very little effort is required. I didn't expect that at all. Because I'm using a hydraulic press and not an arbor press, I'm taking very small bites. You know, I'm not getting a full round of pressure and then slamming it down. Especially with the fact that there is some wobble in this press. I just, just want it to go slow and steady and work it down also allows me to feel as I'm going like if something starts to catch and maybe I am in danger of breaking my brooch I would feel that okay we've hit the length of the press if you look right there you can see all that material that has been cut by those teeth so far So this is not the first keyway that I've ever cut. I've actually cut several and I did it by using a file. It took a lot of time and was really kind of a pain. I don't know how I ever made it without this tool. Of course, that's how it works in the fabrication shop as you're slowly building up your tools you work with what you have and you work with what you know and you hope that it'll be good enough and then eventually you get the right tool and realize how much time you could have saved had you had it all along.
So there we have one beautifully broached keyway, and I could not be happier with the result. So ultimately, this is a review. What do I think about this Shars broaching kit? I love it. My only complaint is that I didn't buy it years ago. But wait, you may be thinking, what about the work you had to do on that half-inch guide? I'm not too worried about the 10-15 minutes that it took me to clean this up and remove that 10 thousandths of an inch. Ultimately, as I end up using this kit, I'm going to end up making more of these. So having to slightly tweak one really wasn't that big a deal. I'm sure Shars would have covered it under warranty because this does come with a warranty. And I know that Amazon would have covered it, but I didn't want to deal with sending it back and then waiting for another one and hoping that all the guides in it were perfect. It was just easier and less headache to spend that 10, 15 minutes. I'd have spent more time packing this up and getting this to a drop-off location than I spent adjusting that one guide. I highly recommend this. It's very affordable. It's got lots of great options. I'm going to put an Amazon link in the description for both this and the smaller kit that goes up to one eighth. If you've been doing it the way I did it for years by using a file, hats off to you. It's a lot of work. It takes a lot of time. The amount of time you're going to save by using this tool is going to far outweigh its cost. If you like what you've seen, please click like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.